I have a channel called Posh Korean that I run with my friend and we started this channel in December of last year, 2022. So it's been almost a year to the date. And the surprising thing is, right now the channel has over 28,000 followers on Instagram. It's growing so well and it's doing so well, but I'm going to quit Posh Korean. I feel bad for my partner, but we were thinking about how to monetize this channel. And monetizing it, let's say we're going to do a video course. Well, we don't have any experience teaching Korean, so we need to teach Korean for free and then gain some experience and also get feedback from our fans as to what kind of Korean content they want to learn. In short, it requires teaching Korean, but since I don't really know Korean that well, I would have to learn and then teach Korean. And learning and teaching Korean is not something that really interests me. In fact, I just flat out don't want to do it. So I've been thinking about this for the last week about quitting. We even had a business call with a, an offer that came in and so we had a call with them and they offered that they would help us make video courses in exchange for 50% of our profits from the video courses. We weren't interested in the offer because we'd rather do it ourselves, but going back to the main problem, I don't even want to learn and teach Korean. It came back to that, so. The only reason I'm hesitant to quit is because we've gained such a massive following. I mean, 28,000 people that can fill up stadiums. And you know what the funny thing is? I had lunch with this Korean girl who came to Toronto for working holiday for a year, and I told her about Posh Korean, and when she looked it up on Instagram, she found that one of her friends from language school, a Mexican girl, actually follows us, Posh Korean. So that was the first time I heard of someone who knows someone that actually follows us without ever us having to advertise it to them. So that was really cool. And it's sad to say goodbye to so many fans and just stop producing content because they loved our content about teaching Korean through K-pop. So it's sad that I'll be letting the fans down by quitting. But as a friend said, I'm sure they'll find someone else to f follow and rave about. So I guess it's not a big deal in the long run. So I'm sad about this decision about quitting Posh Korean, but I think it's the right one because my heart won't be into it. I'm not that interested in the Korean language or K-pop or K-drama learning and teaching Korean. So it just doesn't make sense for me to go all in in a business doing something that I'm not interested in at all. So as I said, I feel bad for my posh Korean partner, but I'm saying goodbye to the channel. On the other hand, I want to work on my own channel even more now. Actually, the reason I started my daily vlog shorts is because of posh Korean and I realized that there's definitely a market for people watching shorts. So that's why I started shorts daily vlogs. So goodbye Posh Korean and I'm gonna focus on my own personal channel, Paul Yu. I think it's the right decision. I hope it is. I think it is. Yeah, it should be fine.